What's up? This is Altaric here from uh, smartbytrainers.com. Peloton introduced stack classes. That's an easy way to plan your entire workout ahead of time and move seamlessly from one workout to the next. In this video, I'll walk you through how this new feature work and uh, some tips and tricks on how to use it. And if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it. Appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. Okay, stacked classes. It works the same way as a music playlist. You add songs to your playlist, organize them, and when you press play, it will play your song sequentially. Same thing here. The stack classes is basically a collection of workouts that you add to your stack and it will play each workout sequentially. You can create and manage your stack list using the Peloton bike, Peloton treadmill, or on the Peloton website. So this is how it works. To build your workout list on your bike, you should see this little stacked folder icon at the bottom right corner of the screen. If you do not see it, make sure you have the latest software update installed. Now, just start browsing workouts and when you find a workout that you want to do, you can just tap and hold and it will be added to your list. You can add any type of workout you want to do except for live classes. You can also add a workout by tapping on the workout you want and you should see this add to stack list button. So I'm going to add a five minute warm up ride with Olivia, then a 60 minute power zone workout with Matt Wilpers. And next let's add a 20 minute strength uh, workout for runners and uh, finish the day with uh, breathing meditation. And uh, I'm also going to add a run. However, unfortunately, Peloton does not allow you to add or even browse running workouts on the Peloton bike for some weird reason, even though they allow you to browse and add all kind of other off the bike workouts using the bike. But we'll take this lack of feature as an opportunity to show you how to add a workout to your stack. Uh, and to do that, go to members.onepeloton.com and log into your account. And this is also a good place to manage your workouts if you are at work and uh, thinking about planning your workouts for the evening when you get home. Uh, if you click on the three dots on the top right, you should see stacked classes uh, there. Click on it and uh, now you can browse workouts in your stack. Now I want to add a run, so I'm just going to browse for a run workout. and. Uh, Let's do this 30 minute Tiesto run. Love Tiesto. And to add it, just click to open the workout and you should see this, this stack button. Click on it and it will be added to your stack. And uh, this is the last time I'm going to say add to your stack in this video. To see your stack list, uh, just tap on the stacked workout folder on the bottom right of the screen and uh, you should see how many classes you have in there along with the total workout time. You can modify your list by clicking on the modify button and move workouts around you can press on this arrow up icon to move a workout all the way up or hold and drag a workout to the to resort your workouts or just delete a workout altogether from the list now to start all you need to do is hit play and it will start playing the first workout you have on your list when you finish your workout you will see this continue stack option and it will take you to the next workout it will also give you the option to start the workout now or maybe later. Now you can move on to another device and since I have a run and I cannot play uh, the run video on the Peloton bike, I'm going to switch to another device. So I have the Apple TV here and I have the Peloton Apple TV app installed so I'm just going to use that instead. When you open the Apple TV app and log in you should see the next workout you have on your stack list up on top and you can just start the workout right from there. If you have the Peloton treadmill you can just hop on your treadmill and it should be right there ready for you to play as well. But I don't have the Peloton treadmill so for this demo I'll just use the Apple TV app and my own treadmill. Now you can switch back to your bike or continue playing the rest of your bike classes on your Apple TV or any other compatible device. Uh, a little tip for you, on the Apple TV you can now pair a heart rate monitor so and to do that just swipe up on the remote control and you should see this heart rate monitor icon. Tap on it and it should prompt you to pair your heart rate monitor. It has to be a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. I have my Polar OH1 heart rate monitor paired here and if you are interested in this one, I will leave a link uh, to where you can get yourself one in the description of this video. So this is your stack classes. What do you think? Is this something you would use? Let me know what you think. Okay, I think I covered it all here. Let me know if I missed anything. There you have it, 
Hope you enjoy this video and uh, remember to take a split second to hit the like button down below and uh, if you happen to still be watching and haven't subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.